Hey there, YouTube. This is 13 Dragon Blade. I'm making a profile. It's going to be Cyber Dragons this time. I finally finished the Cyber Dragon build. Um, Cyber Dragon Surgery is what I call it. And I was able to get the other cards that I needed. So, without further ado, I do have my three DNA surgeries. I just don't have them in the deck, per se. I only have two in the deck, but I do side the third in case I do, you know, come across a deck that I know I can spam at least three of them. But anyway, we're just going to go straight into the deck profile. Um, three Cyber Dragons, these are just the sexy ones. You need three. This is a Cyber Dragon deck, and he's the main monster. He's what you want out on the field. I usually just use Nova's effect to keep bringing him out. Three Drays, you need to have him as well. He's a level 4. You can bring back with Network. He has so much capabilities. He can, If he's banished, you protect one of your Cyber Dragons. So Core, regular Cyber Dragon, it's just, it's dumb. He's such a good card within himself. And when he's normal summoned, he makes all your Cyber Dragons level 5. So that includes himself. Three cores because it's Stratus. And um, his effect is mandatory. So you normal you get a repair plant or a network. That's five targets you have to search. So you core and you repair plant in the core, it's really done. And uh, one random is away because why not? You run all the other ones, you just basically run 10 Cyber Dragons. Okay, cards um, are the ones that are necessary. Uh, three valleys, you can machine dupe him as well as um, core. So you just get a bunch of monsters on the board. I uh, usually machine dupe for him and I'll stack for slacker and then just leave the one out there for defense. Or when I bring them all back with uh, the trap card network, I'll just go ahead and stack for slacker then. These are tech cards that are also mandatory. Well, not mandatory, but you could use them. Is a double quick draw. They are level 5 machine monsters, so you can use them with stuff like Grey and the Cyber Dragon. So if you just want to send some of the graveyard to prepare for a repair plant, you can do that and start setting up with this. You have a Suku, because um, Tsukuyomi is really good. These are just one for ones. Uh, Thunder King, because it's a little bit of stun. And he's still good at one. I mean, he's not a bad card, probably. And negate summons and stop searching. And an honest, because everything in this deck is light. Okay, so that's the monsters. I bumped the talent up one because of the Thunder King. But I think that that's necessary for the build, especially right now. Three repair plants, basically your Rota and your mini pot of Avarice. Um, I was going to put Foolish in here, but I didn't find room for it yet. I might probably do it for the mind control, but I like, um, you need to run three of these. You just, you have to get into your stuff quickly. Um, then we come with the one for one cards, one dark hole, one machine dupe, and one mind control. Machine dupe you use on core to bring out cyber dragons, and you also use it on cyber valley, so you have two targets for it. You special as much sponsors as possible. Uh, mind control for Valley and for pretty much anything just to steal and exceed. And Dark Hole because I think it's obvious that we need to clear the board sometimes. And one limited removal because this entire deck has machines, so why not? And Triple MST because the back row sucks. Traps, um, very important lineup. We're just going to go into the one for ones. Um, these are just one mass monster removal and that. I don't play for intro on this deck because I like to keep the board. I want them to, you know, destroy my Nova so I can bring out a fusion monster. I do, however, run three. Instead of the torrential, I run three prisons just because, you know, again, it may target, but having it at three is really nice. So you can get rid of a lot of threats. More draw power if the Cyber Valleys and the um, Cyber 
repair plant is not enough, you have three replicas to get into your stuff. I play two networks still. I think it's good at two. I don't think you should run three of it, but I still don't think you should run one of it. Having the fact that this card is legal right now, it is a free return from a different dimension for Cyber Dragons. So if, even if they do banish your stuff, if you have this, you can chain. You can chain it during their turn. Just a lot of stuff. You can you can do that during the battle phase. It's it's just really dumb what you can do. And if you chain it and it destroys your back row, whatever, you chain all your recklesses and you just go from there. Especially all your dudes back to at least defend you. And the reason why it's called Cyber Dragon Surgery, the two DNA surgeries, I usually cite in the third, game two and three, because it's such a great card. It's just really good. Being able to turn everything into machines, just send them all with Chimera and make a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon a big beefy beater. Alright, um, extra deck. I believe that was 40. I did manage to get it to 40. It was at 41 for a while. And I had to cut a card out, and I was able to fit in Thunder King. I was able to fit in the other Quick Draw, so I can make stuff. So, we have a Slacker. Slacker Magician is usually used to um, stall a little bit. The same reason behind the Gachi Gachi play with the cores that you can get back from remove from play pile. You usually get those back with network. Then you network and you exceed into these. So that way you don't minus yourself when you actually do get to XYZ summon. And if your opponent wastes a solemn warning on it, more benefit for you. And the only one rank four we play is Geargon X. Just in case there's this random time where you network for your Drays, which I do all the time to protect my core. And you network into that, you just X six you XYZ summon him, you detach, you search. It's good. Rank five is very important. One Volksaurus, I still keep him in here. He is kind of a mandatory at this point because his effect is really good. I finally have him. He's beautiful. He's good. He's a compulsory on steroids, and you need at least one of him. You can sell it for ladies. You can use him with your Cyber Dragons. You can use him with your Drays. There are several ways to make him, just as long as you use Light Monsters. And you can make him, he's really good, and he's a 25 beat stick. Then, Tyrus, because Tyrus is good, you know, I mean, being able to be safe from card effects, and he can pop, which is nice. And, of course, I've always ran three of them, if you've seen my deck profiles, three Novas, because it's mandatory, it's important, you need to get Nova as much as possible. And one Gaia Charger. I cut the Gaia Charger for room for the Pallades because Pallades is a lot better. Okay, then we go into Fusions. Of course, you run your three Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon because you're going to be snatching a lot of monsters. Um, you use that with DNA Surgery and you usually push for OTK with this. If not, they'll get rid of it and you have to have Nova or the other um, Rank 5s to fall back on. And of course, if Nova gets destroyed, a Cyber Twin and a Cyber End. I used to have two twins and no end, or two twins and an end, when I didn't have Pallades. Uh, Cyber End is just really if you want to get him out for piercing, and Cyber Twin Dragon wins games when they blow it up. I had a friend blow it up earlier, and I was able to bring this out during the battle phase and attack him for 56, because he mirror forced my Nova. I'm just like, GG, bro. So, since I finally have him, the card of the night will be good old Pallades. This is 13 Dragon Blade, signing off.